Hi everybody, today we're gonna be making breakfast. We're going to start with the pancake first. We need two eggs, quarter cup of vegetable oil, four teaspoon of baking powder, three tablespoon of white sugar. We have one and a half cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of milk, and we're gonna need Nutella for our pancake today. I have three tablespoon of Nutella. Now I am separating the egg yolk from the white. We're gonna beat the egg white. I am making one batter that when you finish doing everything, you can just make it plain. But I wanna do it different today, so I'm gonna divide it in half. I'm gonna use one of the half with blueberry. The other half I'm gonna use Nutella chocolate. You don't have to do it, it's optional. They good without the Nutella or the blueberry. After we combine our dry ingredients, now we are going to beat the egg white. After we finish with our egg white, we're going to set it aside and we're gonna combine our wet ingredients, the milk, oil, egg yolk, we're going to whisk it all together. Now we're going to add a pinch of salt. Then we're going to combine the dry and the wet ingredients together. We're going to whisk it until it's smooth. Folding the egg white into the batter. Now I'm going to divide the batter in a half. The first half we're going to mix the chocolate with it. We're just going to fold it. We're not going to whisk it. We're going to do the same thing with the blueberry. pretty heated for 300 degrees you don't have to use griddle if you don't have one you can use a pan I am using quarter cup to measure my pancakes then use the cup and spread out the batter each side take about two to three minutes to cook Oh, when you started to see the bubble all over the pancake, it's time to flip it. the bubble right there when you flip just press down into it and make it cook even so both of the side look the same mm -hmm. 
now our pancakes are ready we're going to make breakfast potatoes we have three medium potatoes that we cut in cubes we're going to boil them about eight to ten minutes we are adding salt our potatoes are ready and drained we have quarter cup of oil I am using avocado oil but you can use any oil you like we have one cup of mixed bell pepper you can use one color it's up to you we have half a cup of chopped onion half a cup of green onion we're going to start with the onion we're going to fry the onion about two minutes And we're going to add our bell pepper we're going to give it a stir then we're going to add one teaspoon of chicken bouillon one teaspoon of black pepper we're gonna stir If you like more salt you can go ahead and add more salt or seasoning because we did add salt in the potatoes earlier when we were boiling them and we added one teaspoon of dry rosemary one teaspoon of sumo paprika Just gonna stir for about another two minutes then we add the green onions and we're gonna stir and then we're going to add the potatoes now and we're gonna stir it together and put the lid back on leave it a crack a little bit for about two minutes and your potatoes should be ready It's Fatu Kardrata's daughter, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my homemade coffee creamer. So I just put six tablespoons of half and half this sugar-free vanilla syrup that I think I got from Target, and I use like a tablespoon of that, and then I put a tablespoon of sugar, and then you just mix it all together, and that's really it. And you can store it in the fridge for like a week or something. But yeah, that's it. I enjoyed Fatu's coffee creamer with my coffee today. It was so delicious. I've been making this pancake for years. Please guys try them. They are very delicious. We had it with fried eggs and mixed berry. You can top it with anything you want. Banana, anything. Thank you so much guys for watching. Like, share, comment on Yarama.